Good morning, Bethel family. It is me, Pastor Mitch, back again for Convos and Coffee. I'm so excited to be with you this morning. I hope that you have your coffee with you, maybe like a little pastry or a muffin. I know Pastor Peter probably has one. And uh, we are going to be diving into our next uh, moment of our series on freedom, which is our word for the year here at Bethel Church. And today I'm going to be talking about what, how does the Spirit make us free? And we're going to be jumping into 2 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, verse 17 and it says this now the lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom uh it's easier for me to kind of describe the ways that the spirit doesn't make us free than probably to dive into all the ways that the spirit does make us free because the spirit makes us free in every way it's through the holy spirit and his blessing in our life that we are free to interact with wisdom that we are free to interact with grace that we are free uh, to begin to develop all the fruits of the spirit right these are things that all come from being tapped into the vine of god so love joy peace patience kindness goodness self-control all of these things come from the Holy Spirit. I think it's so important to remember that, that these are not things that we just develop naturally, but as Christians, as followers of Christ, these are things that we develop through the Spirit. We have freedom to engage with all these things. The Holy Spirit also allows us freedom in our communication with Jesus. And so if you've been attending Bethel for any any period of time, you know that Pastor Peter, Pastor Sandra, our entire staff, we love the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And through the baptism of the Holy Spirit, through engaging uh, intimately with God, we believe that we have a special form of communication with Jesus through our spirit, that we can close our eyes, center in, find our quiet place, find ourselves in our prayer closets, wherever the case may be, and through through the Spirit, we can communicate right to the kingdom of God, right to the throne room. Isn't that awesome? Man, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. What that also means is that another way that the Spirit makes us free is that He's with us wherever we go. Now, I know that these last two years have been difficult. They've been hard. They've been hard for uh, us individually, for marriages, for our neighbors, for our kids. But we also need to remember that we are not product of the world around us. Right? We are not confined to the circumstances that we find us in. And it's a lot easier to say than to, than to do when the circumstance that we find ourselves in is like a wild storm or whatever the case may be. But I just need to remind you today, Bethel, that we are full of his spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So what does that mean? Another way that the Spirit makes us free is that wherever we go, God is with us. And because He's with us, we are free to share the gospel. We are free to tell others about who it is that changed our lives. I think back to my own salvation story and that moment where God called out to me through His Spirit, where He called me uh, and, and, and brought me back into relationship with Him. I'm just so, so thankful. Another way that we're free is that we are free to pray for the forgiveness forgiveness of our sins. So Jesus died on the cross for us. And we know that through the crucifixion that he bore the weight of our sins, that the wrath that was rightfully due to us was poured out by God onto his son so that we wouldn't have to pay the price for all the things that, that we do, for the mistakes that we make, for uh, the sins that we commit. Instead, we turn to the cross and we thank Jesus for his sacrifice. Three days later, through the Father, Jesus was risen again, and he then sent his Holy Spirit. Jesus went up in Acts chapter 2. He went up to be with the Father, and in his place came the Holy Spirit. And so through the Holy Spirit, we now have our connection with the Father. We have our connection with Jesus. We have our connection and our adoption comes through the infilling of the Holy Spirit in our lives. The fact that we are able to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior and ask for that forgiveness, we are free because the Spirit lives within us. And I think that it's so important to remember that. The last way that I believe that, that I want to encourage you today that we are free is that we are free to pass on this awesome relationship with Jesus. Now, if you're a parent here today, I just want to remind you of your first calling. This is something that I often remember, remind myself, even though I'm a pastor here at this amazing church and have amazing young people at our junior highs and our youth are absolutely incredible. My first calling in my life is to my kids, is to pass on this rich inheritance that I have. I have a freedom to share the gospel first with my sons, to encourage them to follow Jesus with all their heart. I have a freedom to uh, bring God and, and, and center the Holy Spirit in my marriage, to make sure 
sure that I'm setting that example for those around me that they would know that there is a difference when Jesus is at the center of your marriage. You're able to act freely in that marriage with each other. You're able to forgive freely. Thank you, Jesus, that my wife could forgive me of all the crazy things that I do. Uh, but I want to encourage you today to spread the gospel and, and walk in to every situation in your workplace, in your neighborhood with the freedom knowing that God is with you and through his spirit, you are strong. Let me read this verse for you again. It says this, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Walk in freedom today. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.